actually might have been the windiest hike I've ever been on. This has got to be 50 mile an hour wind. Crazy. It's awesome. And it's like 35 degrees out. And that may actually be the best vocal audio we got on that trip that we took last October 2022. So this is a trip that I went on to Pictured Rocks, National Lake Shore, Upper Michigan with guys from my church. Some of these guys had never ever backpacked before and I actually loaned out a ton of my own personal backpacking gear to most of them and so this is footage from that yeah. trip. Great guy. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah. If you're a first time backpacker or new to backpacking, the fear of the unknown is the biggest thing. What the trail is really like, hey. did I pack the right stuff, um, you know, will I be able to sleep at night? These guys were no different. They had all those questions and more questions just like I had done and had questions on my first backpacking trip. Boo. <laughs> So we chose this area not only because it's beautiful, but because it's a relatively easy hike and because this was just sort of a guys group from my church. We had Friday to Sunday to work with, so these guys only had the weekend and most of us had to be back to work on Monday. And if you're going with noobs, a weekend trip is a perfect place to start. You do not want to overwhelm people. If you've ever hiked along the Great Lakes, weather is totally unpredictable. I live just a couple miles from one of the Great Lakes, and the lakes are so large that they actually affect weather patterns. This weekend was no different. For guys that actually needed gear from me, I gave them gear that was rated properly down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So the only ones that didn't have gear from me were the hammock guys. The first night for them was pretty cold, but we made some adjustments and the second night got a lot warmer. Trips like this where you don't know anybody else that you're hiking with can be really intimidating. This group was the perfect storm. These guys all connected great and a lot of friendships were developed. Breaking away from the screens, from work, from just life in general and putting yourself in nature can be one of the best ways to get to know someone. <laughs> 
Officially in the duplex L. I think I said that right. <laughs> um, we're about 50 yards, maybe 75 yards from Lake Superior. 30 mile an hour, consistent winds. I just checked the weather. Um, you hear that? I mean, it's brutal out there. Uh, it's starting to get kind of sleet. It's about 35 degrees out. <laughs> and all the new guys that are here with me are doing pretty well, actually. I'm surprised. So everybody's decently warm. And uh, I gave a lot of my gear to them prior to coming, so a lot of them are pretty prepared. So hopefully they'll sleep good. But yeah, so we'll see how we uh, all manage the night. was incredibly fierce the entire weekend. It was a consistent wind that never went below 30 miles per hour. The only relief was in the woods, but even when we were in the woods, we were only about 75 yards from the shoreline at most at any one time. a second night at Pictured Rocks that we stayed, but we didn't get any video from that because the weather was so bad and so rainy and so windy, it wasn't even worth it to pull out our camera gear because we didn't want to ruin our camera gear. And I actually hiked off with a couple of people there to go move vehicles, and we had to hike seven miles out that night to make it easier for the new guys to get to their vehicles that next morning. And it was so bad and we were so wet and so cold. By the time we got to our vehicles, we decided to go in town for a burger. And then sitting at the restaurant, we warmed up nicely, uh, dried off all our clothes. We were there for probably three hours. Then we got back in the vehicle, pulled it up to a much uh, closer parking lot. We hiked back into camp, slept, woke up the next morning and finally hiked out. And believe it or not, 
all of these guys want to go backpacking again. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this from trips that we took where we talked about gear, but we really didn't show you much of the actual hike. There's probably other ones that we can make videos on as well. And we'll see you guys on the next one.